In the last video, we extracted myproduct1.zip into myproduct1. Double click on this. And here are the uploaded files. So in this video, I want to add my payment link to my sales page. So let's click on select sales page and click on HTML editor. Click on edit. And here's the link. Now I need to go to PayPal and create a link. Once you've logged in, click on Merchant Services, Buy Now button, So the button type will be buy now. Item name, you can put in your item name. And ID, just so that you will recognize it, but it's optional. Price of your product, say 77 You can leave this, you can leave all this information out. If it's a digital product, there won't be any shipping or tax. Merchant account IDs, use my secure merchant account ID, select this one. Track inventory, we don't need to customize this one. Go to step three. and select no for the first three questions. Here you see an option, take customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout. So for example, if somebody has clicked on the payment button and decided not to buy, you can direct them to this URL, which should be your downsell page, for example, as what we've done, the OTO page. So I'm going to copy. This is my domain name com and slash the folder that we uploaded slash the name of the page okay and uh, you can select the next one take customers to this URL when they finish checkout so you can insert your download page here copy and paste the top part. So with that, you're done. Create the button. And your button is created. Click on email and select this code. Go to edit page in your C panel. Right click 
insert edit hyperlink. Delete and paste this URL. Okay, now go to preview. And click to test. There you go. To design and save. Should you need to Edit your payment link, for example, you want to change the pricing. Go to all my saved buttons. Go back. In the event you've been logged out, just go to Merchant Services again. Go to Buy Now Buttons. Just click on Create a Button. Go to my saved buttons. This is the only way you can get in here. As you can see, the one that we left blank just now is listed here as well. So I'll just delete that. And here you have my product one. So click on action and you can edit the button, view the code again, create symmetry similar buttons for example if you have two or three payment links to that page delete the button or simply create a new button so let's check on edit button so it opens up My button with my price 77 I can change this change the currency if I like this is how my button As you can see, this is how I add my PayPal payment link to my customized button.